Yeah, we are live now. We can start. Thank you, team. Uh, very good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining. Uh, it's good to know that all the participants who are attending this uh, event, those who are already enrolled and preparing for CLA. We really appreciate our uh, partners, especially Samantar Education, who's doing a great job in the market uh, to create more awareness, as well as helping you all to uh, complete the CMA program. We really appreciate that support. Uh, and I'm sure you are in the good hands of our trainers and amazing faculty members who are helping you to prepare for the CMA exams and prepare you for the, uh, you know, the ex uh, like even for their classes. So a uh, great, uh, thank you Uta, once again, thank you Simantar Education for your support. Now, as you're all uh, already preparing for uh, CMA, I'm not looking at a very detailed presentation. I would like to look at this as more like, uh, uh, you know, an interactive session, ask as much as doubts what you have, and I can clarify these doubts. And I think that will be beneficial for everyone. And uh, that's something which I'm looking at. But again, I'll quickly take you through a few uh, slides, which is very important. Uh, so again, once again, congratulations for all who joined for the CMA program. CMA is one of the most preferred certifications uh, or highest credential in the management accounting domain, which help you to be future proof or future leaders. And you are all in the right track. So first of all, again, congratulations for everyone who joined for the program. So I am Fennel, I work uh, with IME, Institute of Management Accountants, IPL, which is the India entity as manager relationship development for India. So I work with universities, course providers and other partners and associations. So my role is also the same, create more awareness, help our students and members in their drive. And you all know that IMA is a global organization headquartered in New Jersey, USA, spread across 150 countries with around 140,000 members. Now, apart from our 10 global offices, including one in India, which is in Bangalore, we do have 300 chapters. So some of you might take an IMA membership and entrance fee, which you might pay your already members. Uh, if you are members, please start active, be an active member in the chapter. The chapters conduct a lot of events, webinars, uh, you know, and it's an opportunity for you to network and upgrade yourself. So make sure chapters you are utilizing, you are part of the chapter group, chapter WhatsApp groups, which help you to uh, get a lot of information about different activities, webinars, and thought leadership activities, which is organized by chapter. And which is very, very critical for a professional like you, those who are doing and working in the finance domain. And we all know that every every year you see new things happening in the market and you need to make sure that you upgrade or update or reskill with the right skill set, which is required for future. And IMA provide these opportunities uh, through our IMA membership benefits. The hard work of supporting, guiding, and preparing you is done by our approved providers. And uh, IMA as an organization, what we do, we, we work across the industry, understand the requirements in the market, and create the right syllabus. And I'll talk about that, how we have done that. So I, I'm sure most of you attended my presentations. I'm not going to repeat anything much more. We work with corporates. Some of these corporates might work with us in research initiatives. Some of them uh, work like as pro, like they actually contribute or you know they actually fund for their employees to do CMA. Some of the or corporates even reach out to us and say that we need fresh or well less you know experienced CMAs for our organization. You can ask them to send their resumes. 
So we facilitate that opportunity for our members and candidates. We work with many universities as well. So that's an additional benefit which we do. Now, the question comes back to you again, why CMA is required? Before that, we have to ask ourselves, are you future ready? Because we are living in the world of technology, robotics, and analytics. And uh, in one side, these three things creating a lot of disruption in the market. On the, Like if you look at that few years back, uh, you see a lot of internet cafes in our place. Now you won't see them. So these people lost their jobs. But on the other side, it's also help you. Like now you can access your internet if you want to search for something. You can access your internet in your mobile phone and wherever you are. So one side, it's ease the life. Now the question come back to us, like whether it's going to affect our, uh, you know, our industry. According to the survey, which last year I may done it, it with I may and Deloitte done it together. And what the reports say, almost 27 percentage of organizations are going through finance financial transformation right now. And around 88 percentage of organizations are going through finance transformation in the next five years time. Now, the importance or why, why that is affecting us. Like if you're looking at a job which is usually a routine in process or like a repeated kind of a job, you might not see such jobs in the near future. Because these jobs will be automated. So you need certain skill set, uh, which analytical skill set, leadership skill set, critical mindset. So you need certain skill set which is required for the future. And the interesting side of that. IMA every five to six years go around the world and ask the employers what kind of skill set you are expecting from your employees. And we change our syllabus according to the industry requirement. And this process we call as job analysis study. And we create something called IMA management accounting competency framework. Now, why IMA management accounting competency framework is important for you? Because these are the skills which is required in the industry and which are these strategy planning performance reporting control technology analytics business acumen operation ethics and leadership skills now from where you can get it that is where cma as a certification and ima membership is going to help you and you know that very well we the our exams are two part exam and each part consists of six and six plus core practice areas of management accounting each examination is for four hours, 100 multiple choice questions and two essay questions. I'm not differentiating the role of management accountant and financial accountant. I'm sure you all pretty know about it. You already got guidance about it. If financial accountants look at what happened and record the right uh, transactions in the right format and showcase to the stakeholders, uh, this is what the financial position of a company and management accountant are someone like who's driving a car. Uh, you sometimes look at the rear of mirror and see what is happening in the back end and you focus 90, 95 percentage of your time forward looking people. So that's how management accountants, they look at past reports for the benefits or help at decision making, but they are more worse, a forward looking people, uh, a more a dynamic people, more into decision making, risk management and uh, strategic partners for the business. Now, I'm just touching a few slides. Uh, now, I'm not sure how many of you start preparing for exams, but on the other side, uh, you should know what level of study is required for CMA. Sometimes people come and ask me like, so is it CMA very difficult or is it very easy? I would say it's nothing called difficult or easy. It's all about how you prepare yourself. The biggest difference when you compare CMA with many other courses or uh, you know graduation uh, programs, what happens? We cover all these topics, but only from level A, which is knowledge and comprehension. Whereas CMA test your skills up to level B and C, which is called application analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Now, what you need to do while preparing CMA, you need to learn everything based on concepts. You should learn with an analytical mindset. That's what I would say. So when you learn something, you should know what you are learning, what is the concept behind it, where you are going to use it. So you, you, you should know how practically you can use that in the real 
world. That, that that's also one of the reasons behind uh, most of the agencies says only ten percentage of graduates are employable because you know the topic, you don't know how to do it. But when it comes to CMA, the benefit here you learn in a way which is how it is utilized. So your learning need to be in that, and that is very very important for you to clear the CMA exams. Every day, if you can spend at least two hours every day systematic preparation, I'm sure this is not a hard task for you. And just giving you a little more insights on the process, uh, you need to complete both part exam. You need to be a graduate with two years of relevant experience with an active membership. That is where you apply for CMA certification. You might see in other professional bodies, you complete the certification by writing all the exams, then you apply for membership. In IMA, only IMA members can do CMA certification. So that is one reason behind why IMA membership, while you start preparing for the certification is very important. And that will give you a lot of insights towards it. So that's make sure that those who are with institute uh, register with IMA within the special time which is offered because you might get special offers and uh, you know in a specific time make sure you are going to use register within that time to ensure these benefits otherwise you might lose that like for example uh, last month we had an offer like 50 percentage off on examination but there is a precondition to that and many students those who want to register and write the exam, they all lost that opportunity. So make sure whenever the offers are extended, make sure you are registering in the right time. It's also help you to get knowledge and support from IMA. Only then we considered you as a member because we member as well as a student. So that is very important. Make sure that if you have any questions, start posting that uh, in the question and we will take it up. So as I told you, I would like to make it more interactive. And I would like to answer most of your questions rather than I'm making a big presentation. Now, exam centers uh, are across the world. Exams happens in Jan, Feb, May, June, September, October window. You can fix your examination date. When the COVID situation happens, we might do certain changes uh, considering you as well as the national situation. But otherwise, the exams happens in Jan, Feb, May, June, September, October window. Now you can write one part in one window, other part in another window. There is nothing called group system. Now the interesting side, if some of you feel that you are an extraordinary brilliant student and you'd like to get an distinguished award, please write both part exams in the same window. Now, being a management, I'm sure you have started preparing. When you start preparing, you see that you learn the skills which is required for the industry where you can manage and take a decisions. Okay, so that is something which you need to really look at. Uh, and it's also like the people who completed CMA, they feel that 80% of CMS feels that their certification <clears throat> helps them or enable them to move across areas of business. Now, sometimes students come back and say that, you know, I completed my CMA. I'm looking at like, you know, I posted my posting that I completed my CMA. Now, company skill, please come and hire me. Please understand the market is really dynamic. So no companies will come and search for you, but you have to apply for the right jobs. Now, how to apply for the right jobs? Now, you learn 12 core practice areas of management accounting in the CMA program. When you search for jobs, search for the jobs which is related to that. No need to say that. There might be some companies might mention CMA, some companies might mention highest degree or any other professional certification. Make sure if your skills match with that, apply with that and try to reach out to the right person for the right opportunity. And, and I always say this another thing, like there is nothing called one resume fit for every job. So you have to understand the requirement of the corporate and tweak your resume according to the company requirement as well as with your skill set. So that's also very important. And I know Sivantar Education is doing a great job in supporting their candidates to get placed and well done uh, Sivantar Education for doing that support. And 34% uh, of people who completed the qualification work as CEOs, CFOs and controllers. 
22% of them work as directors and managers. 33% of them are accountants and analysts. They work in FNA, FPNA, costing, pricing, uh, risk analysts, investment analysts. These are some of the profiles I've seen the youngsters, those who completed graduation with four to seven years of experience they work in. Now, I'm taking you uh, through the IMA membership benefits. This is where uh, what you get being a member, okay? One is the first thing, only IMA members can do CMA certification. Because first you need to be a member in order to get your CMA entrance. And once you pay membership and entrance, then only you can actually start preparing for the CMA. Now, once you take up entrance fee, once you pay the membership and entrance fee, you need to make sure you clear both part exam within three years of you paid the entrance fee. Otherwise, you need to repeat even the past exam. So make sure you complete both part exam. Now, being a member, you get free access to the continuous top, to the topics, educational topics, which is required for you for being a professional as well as to be relevant in the industry. We do have some CPE courses that once you become a member, once you uh, you know build your career, you can look at the CPE courses. Then other career resources. One is Career Drive Tool. Career Drive Tool. Career Drive Tool is a particular tool where you assess your skills, plan your path, and see your future. For example, you want to be a finance manager in the next uh, five years' time. So you set the target as finance manager, you go through a certain process, and that will showcase what skill sets you require to be a finance manager. And it's also show you from where you can get additional skin order to take up that role. Definitely CMA is one. Apart from that, if you need any other additional skills, like there are such 440 job titles are mapped with this and 28 individual competencies are also framed with. So that's a tool for members. It's free for our members. IMA Leadership Academy, again, another platform to support our members with this leadership topics. And it's wide variety of topics are covered. And when you progress in this, you get certain titles and you can showcase that in your uh, pages. Like these are the badges you can do showcase in your uh, social media pages. And we to have a technology and analytics center and we do have few few free courses uh, these are some of them and you will get more such information once you log in like data analytics and visualization rpa4 series and this is now free for our student members so they can use it and professional members might need to pay certain amount but here most of the uh, there are many other resources again free for our members strategic finance magazine which also give you a lot of insights about what is happening in the industry. I am ethics center again it's to support our members. And I told you like when you progress in your title, you get these badges and you can use and display these badges in your social media pages. When I say social media pages, make sure your social media pages are professional and what you comment, what you uh, you know mention, what you discuss, make sure that you always think twice before posting everything. Nowadays, even corporates look at your social media posting before you're hiring the people. Now, being part of the community, you get a lot of access. We do a lot of student-centric events. You, you can get, uh, you know, be part of the student membership group and you can get it. And if you're a student, if you are a professional, there are a lot of other events which we conduct, uh, corporate-centric events, round tables, and some of these events are free for our members. You can get access to this. So that's another opportunity. Member, again, member centric events. Like last to last year, we actually done our 100 year anniversary India celebration, regional celebration, and a lot of such events which we do. And these events are free for our members. Once you become the member, all the webinars which is happening in the India market right now and events happening right now in the market are uh, an opportunity for you to attend. And there is no additional cost attached to that. So make sure. You, you expose to all what we offer to you. So this is what I would like to share it from my end. Uh, as I told you, I don't want to talk a lot only from my end. I would like to you guys, uh, uh, you know, all, all 
candidate students who are preparing for CMA, asking more questions. And it's an opportunity for you to ask the questions. And I'm just giving you one more uh, reminder. If you join with uh, you know, the training and if you haven't registered uh, in, in the near future, we might extend an opportunity. Please make sure you complete your registration process. It's very important. We told you why one side it is very important to get access. And also at the same time, when you get the right opportunities and special offers, make utilize it otherwise you might end up paying a, a higher amount uh, and we cannot help in that just definitely uh there's a special discounts that offers extended in a particular time and register only after consulting with samantha education they will let you know when you have to register and make sure you register in the right time so this is what i would like to share it from my end and i'm sure most of you are in india pages india social media pages linkedin and so I'm, I'm, I usually share a lot of information. If anyone wants to get in touch with me, I'm happy to connect with you all in the social media. Thank you. And I can see a lot of um, experience uh, questions here. Any charges for IMA certification? Any charges for IMA certification? I hope you are asking what is the total cost of someone who want to do IMA, uh, which is like CMA program. IMA membership entrance and examination cost is around $1,325 uh, plus GST on uh, membership and entrance. Uh, that's the cost for professional students. It is approximately $849 plus uh, GST. Uh, that's the cost for students. But your institute might have a special package if you register with them as well as with IMA in a specific period, which they mentioned, you they might provide you a special package and make sure you get this offers and register on time. Otherwise, we might not be able to extend that bundled offers to you. I hope that is the cost, uh, the question which you asked. Can, can I see a finalist treat as a student? Uh, students in India, any students who are doing undergraduation or post-graduation program is considered as a student member. I hope it is clear. Any students who are doing an undergraduate or post-graduate program, even 12 students can do it, but I'm saying uh, systematic learning of undergraduate or post-graduate is normally considered as students. And uh, anyone not comes under that, comes under academic membership or professional membership, Academic membership is for the faculty members that are full-time faculty members in a recognized university college or affiliated college. Only they can apply for, and you need to be a full-time faculty for that. And the third one is professional, which is open to all non-students and non-academic members. Is work experience mandatory? Will articleship of CA India to be counted as work experience? Uh, See, work experience in the field of accounting and finance is uh, considered as the experience criteria uh, for the CMA requirement or the CMA certification purpose. And what you do in that job is more than important and then what you do. And again, you have to look at whether it's at a short term, like usually we don't consider internships as uh, the experience criteria. You might seen uh, recently, like there is a job posting about lead square which is an internship uh, that is approved, which is a pre-approved internship that is counted for experience criteria. And HP comes every year, like one or two times with internship requirement, even that is uh, considered as the experience criteria. Will CPA, US and CMA together be beneficial in the looking at migration? To with regards to migration, I'm not the right person, but uh, definitely uh, CMA and CPA is a good combination, no doubt about it, because you get two worlds. One is you you are very good in finance and management accounting, which is more performance and decision making. On the other side, CPA will give you more insights on tax, audit, assurance, compliance, more into valuation, and CMA is more into valuation, uh, uh, value creators. So you get both end, and uh, I really appreciate students doing both because that help you uh, to be skilled in both areas. Uh, that that's what I always say. Has IMA open November window for September? There is nothing called November window. 
Our exams are in Jan, Feb, May, June, September, October. There is no other windows. There were certain ex, I don't know, exceptions last year because of COVID and lockdown. Otherwise, there is no difference. Oh my God, this is too much. A lot of questions. <laughs> has IMA open now, but but government considers CA as post of graduate, but IMA is not considering it. See, uh, if your question is you are a chartered accountant and you don't have a graduation and you are doing your CMA, your CA, we considered that equivalent. Like uh, in order to become a CMA, you need to complete both part exam. Uh, you should have two years of relevant experience, graduation and active membership. So if you are a chartered accountant, uh, CS or CWA, uh, from an India perspective or CA, CPA, uh, SSCA kind of course, professionally qualified person, that will replace the graduation requirement, then you don't need to be a graduate. Will more prometric exam centers open in the state like Rajasthan as there are a lot of single institutes in Rajasthan? Mm, prometric centers are uh, not open based only on a IMA exam or CMA examination requirement. They have their own parameters and we do have eight exam centers across India and we cannot predict when, uh, you know, Prometrics will open another exam center in any part of the India. But definitely if there are more students comes from a definitely from one particular city, we will try to push it from our end, but it's definitely uh, or it's finally the call of Prometrics where they do have their own centers. Of completion the course examination, do we need to pay separately for certification? So there are three fee attached to that. One is your membership fee. The next one is certification entrance fee. And these two you ideally pay within one month of your class commencement with your training institute. And then the other two fees are your examination fee. And membership fee is ideally for one year which need to be renewed as long as you are a member. And that is also important for you. Uh, like for example, you completed both part exam and you're applying for a job in next organization. They would like to confirm whether you're actually a qualified person, am I right? Even these days people can buy, I mean, come with uh, duplicates and you know, and which, which is not right, but still people might do it. So if the company want to check or verify that details with this, you need to be an active member. So that's only the additional cost, which is ideally comes up. Or in, in addition to that, if you want to buy, purchase anything extra from IME. Otherwise, there's no additional cost. Uh, so to register as a student or professional. Okay, so your question is, uh, okay, with Sreer, if you're a CA final, whether you are considered as a student or professional, here, as, as I mentioned to you, we consider only undergraduate or postgraduate programs, uh, which is like undergraduate UG or undergraduate postgraduate uh, comes under UGC or IICT is, or is only considered as the student criteria. September, October window, I saw a slot in November too, and we have allowed to do. There is no slot in November. It might be showing that as a luggage, but when you reach to the final stage, it will not show. The exam windows are the already I mentioned and in case if there is any extension we usually update that in our social media and that communication will come to the all the registered candidates what can be the ideal salary of a fresh CM and not in the industry where should we start uh, that's an amazing question I really like that question it depends on industry to industry which profile you come in your other skills which is attached to that I've seen sometimes students getting around three Three, three to three point five as a, more like a fresher, and I've seen even freshers getting even uh, almost eight as a exceptional cases as a fresh graduate. I'm talking about, but again, it depends on different industries. Can LLB graduate given CMA exam? LLB graduates can do CMA if you completed the program. You can do that. Canadian salary. After completing both that that's already discussed. If need choose any one course from CMA, ACCA or CPA, which one should I go for? Oh, that's a very interesting. I like this question always. Like, you know, 
whether you like to go for uh, apple, orange, or uh, pomegranate. It's up to you, am I right? So every, like the qualifications which you mentioned, CMA, which is more into finance, performance, and management accounting. Uh, SSA, CPA, both are in the same domain, which is audit, tax, assurance, compliance. It's your interest. All qualifications are great. No doubt about it. And every qualification created in the market with an intention to service and support the industry. Now, you have to choose whether you want to move uh, as work as an accountant or you want to work in audit, tax, assurance, compliance, or whether you want to work in finance and management of performance. It's your call. That's what I say. Whether you want to choose apple, orange, or pomegranate, it's up to you. Thank you. Okay, I think good. I think I, I could answer most of the question. Any more questions? Uh, till what level SCMA can go go well? Uh, uh, good, that's a very good question. Uh, what level you can go? I think we already shared that slide a few uh, minutes back. Uh, you know, the percentage of 33% uh, of our mm, qualified members, our qualified uh, CMAs are working as CEOs, CFOs, and uh, you know controllers. I could say that's a limit which you can set. It. And the, the new trend which I've seen in the market, there are a lot of CMAs starting their own business and startups. That's also you know, something very interesting for me. Like if you want to be an entrepreneur, CMA is actually helping many people for doing that. So that's an interesting side. Uh, can can I reschedule my exams slot in same window without fee? Rescheduling within a specific time. If you have not, if you haven't done it, it will cost you. You have to pay for that. There is a fee attached to that. For that details, you can reach out to my colleague, or uh, you know, you can send an email to IMA India at the rate IMA net dot org. That person can give you more guidance on that because they have to look at certain things in the background and I can't do that from here. So that uh, that person can be contacted. This is the last date for registration. What date for registration for which exam, which month, which date? It depends on date, time, and window. So again, this is something detailing which you required. You need to get back to us. And again, it also depends on the slot available. Um, September, October window is looks like it is getting filled very fast because one reason uh, May, June was a lot of challenges because of COVID. Many people pushed that uh, you know their exams for September, October, and there was also a special offer which was going in the month of end of June and uh, July, where many students uh, opted for exams in September, October. So that might be one challenge where. You might not see uh, the exam availability for every day which you are looking at. Can I can a CMA get the same opportunity like ICWA in India in terms of industry acceptance? I don't get that question clear. You mean to say uh, after completing CMA, you want to work as a cost accountant in India? See, definitely, if you want to work with a government firm, uh, maybe they prefer Indian. Uh, you know, Indian CMA. Uh, CMA is a global, the US CMA. I mean, people usually call us US CMA event because we have something for India. Uh, CMA is a global certification which is globally accepted, especially when you are interested to work with multinational companies. Uh, CMA is one of the most preferred certification. Uh, we don't say this certification is bad and another certification is good. All certifications are great certification. If you especially look at if you want to cover tax rules, regulations of India, indirect tax and tax rules as well, then uh, definitely it might be good to do an Indian certification. But if you are looking at on a higher level of management, accounting and finance, CMA is one of the most preferred certifications. Uh -huh. I really like this kind of questions. A lot of questions comes up from students. Really appreciate that. Is there any benefit if a person do CPA after CMA? CPA after CMA. Again, Swadi, very good question. Um, see, as I told you, CMA and CPA will give you both sides. Uh, one is, as I told you, what is an tax audit assurance compliance. And the other side, CMA will give you more coverage uh, 
towards finance and management accounting now you see a lot of subjects and topics over uh, you know overlapped in both certification the only difference what i see the approach and focus uh, in even these topics are taught in multiple certification the approach and focus uh, for these topics when it comes to cma and maybe in cpa it might be slightly different but it's always help you to uh, even and i always say once you clear one professional certification which is international certification you can do as much as you want because you got that knack of preparing for international certification can cma practice in india uh, can us okay your question is practice it so what do you mean by practice you are asking for the chartered accountants those who practice in india uh, like if you want to be an auditor if you want to be an, uh, like you know uh, signing authority that's a word people sometimes come back you need to be a chartered accountant of india and only they can sign the indian accounts if you are looking at cost audit now even chartered accountants do the cost audit for indian firms but i think there are certain firms like municipal offices and all these places if you want to do a uh, like I, i'm i need to get the clarity on the public limited companies and semi government companies who are the people actually do the cost accounting uh, audit if that is the one definitely you need to do an indian cost accountant here this is the cma won't as i told you we don't touch indian tax rules regulations or anything in that this is a global certification which focus towards finance and management accounting whereas um, audit or you know audit is something i would say a job which need to be completed till to a certain level and a real management accountant start his job where a financial accountant finishes job so that's where i look at uh, you know so definitely if you are asking from that perspective no but if you are looking at working or practicing as a consultant definitely you can do it if you are looking at uh, entrepreneur yourself you are, you can do it uh, startups i have seen people doing it so we have seen people engaging it, these are the skill set which you learn if it is for audit purpose in in india definitely look at chartered accounting program or ca or uh, if it is cost accounting for certain limited firms look at indian cost accounting program as well thank you uh how much time does a person to get a certificate how long the score is valid very very good question um so once you uh prepare once you complete both part exams and ideally you should complete both part exam within 3 years of registering with ima once you clear both part exam then your next step in the next 7 years i repeat after completing both part exam in the next 7 years you should showcase that you are a graduate you should showcase that you have 2 years of relevant experience in the field of accounting and finance and with an active membership you apply for your cma certification so i hope it is cleared if it is score validity in in a way i would say after complete like within 3 years of joining with ima you should complete both part exam and i i see many people usually complete within one and a half to two years and if you do systematic preparation it's not a hard journey and people usually come back with you know cma preparation is more an interesting thing rather than like a preparation so that's one a feedback which i usually get it from uh, the candidates who completed the certification i'm doing my mba from distance of falls under students and uh, do carry five years experience i do okay uh, so ideally as i told you we look at uh, full time education uh, and uh, ideally you should fall under you should be following under the professional category uh, and uh, good i i am really happy to know that you have five years of experience now the benefit of you someone who is doing cma with experience now once you complete both part exam you don't need to wait you can immediately apply for a uh, certification that will help you to get the cma certification as soon as you complete both part exams and once you find your experience criteria what can be an ideal salary for intern so it depends on each uh, organization so two organization which we uh, currently work with they have a one year internship for example hp you get into the finance uh, corporate finance department and 11 months you go through different process of corporate finance and it's more an experience 
so internship the concept of internship is not salary actually there are a lot of companies don't even pay for internship and people run behind that internship but here they definitely give a stipend and i've seen uh, somewhere around uh, 3.3 to 3.5 uh, is something which sometimes companies pay as uh, interns as a you know internship stipend but internships always need to look at from the experience criteria not from the salary but like I, i know many people even approach many institutes even when i work with other institutes even with us like they say can you give us an internship we don't need to pay anything just give us an internship that's the kind of a request which comes in and i always tell the students especially if you are freshers without experience once you complete your cma more than your salary definitely salary is important for all of us but more than salary next 3 to 4 years try to look at the job which can give you maximum exposure maximum exposure uh, you know sometimes the candidates who completed the cma they come back and say that you know when we are working in this office, so i said what is the happiest moment when you feel like where you felt that cma is helping you so one of the common feedback which i get it from the candidates who started working they say uh, there are people with 5 to 10 years of experience with even other qualifications but then they do certain works in a different manner they come and ask how you have done it and sometimes their words and decisions and recommendations are taken by the senior management as a fresher i'm talking about so now you understand what's the role of a uh, cma or a management accountant uh, in in the even in the entry level okay what is the scope of uh, cma as i told you cma is a global certification it's spread across uh, across the world it's accepted people are working across the world and these are the skill set which is transferable skill set which is not attached like for example if you do ca for that ex- example you do uh, the tax rules regulations of india which is which is must am i right and which is more valid for india and being a chartered accountant whether you can go and do an audit in uh, any other part of the world no so when it comes to cma it is altogether different we are not going to the tax rules that is a role of a financial accountant chartered accountant or a public accountant our role is to look at the finance and help organization looking at multiple areas and help organization in the right analysis and decision making so that's a different role altogether so qualification will always help you to work across the world thank you uh-huh it's not going to end thank you i think there are a lot of questions i think after a few more questions we'll stop i'm actually getting a throat pain uh, please explain about the cma scholarship program uh, when is the window apply for academic year is opening okay uh, ima offers certain scholarship student uh, for full time graduates and in rare cases post graduate students um a university can get up to 10 scholarship whereas your college hod is the a person who can nominate you and the college also need to send a recommendation letter in their college letterhead which ideally need to be signed by the next highest authority dean director principal vice chancellor kind of professor or registrar of the university so that's the process Hmm. What is the scope of an individual with COPM, especially in the fashion? I think we already talked, spoke about CMA, CPA combination. Definitely, it's a good one, no doubt about it, because you get both world. Did you get any subject as an exemption in CPA? Uh, see, uh, I think most of the U.S. qualification, as per my understanding, never give exemption for others. This is my understanding. I know CMA never do it. I'm not sure about other two qualifications, which is CPA, CFA. I'm not sure whether you get any exemptions from exams. IMA, whether you are a student, whether you are a company CFO, whether you are someone with 15 to 20 years of experience in the finance field, if you need to get CMA, you need to write both part exams. And we usually don't go for such tie-ups, but there are certain professional bodies. If you're a CMA. you might uh, get a membership by paying it depends on each organization and uh, professional body we are not into that 
Hmm. Can can CME in India perform cost audit? I think I already mentioned about cost audit in India is not possible, uh, especially for an Indian company. Um, or ideally, this cost audit done it done it by even CAs and CWAs of India. Whereas uh, CME US cannot do Indian uh, accounts. This as I told you, we are not into audit. I want to make sure management accounting are not into audit. And you are talking about cost audit. Cost is just one part of management accounting, and CMA is more a management accounting certification, not just a cost accounting certification. Will articleship of CA considered to be experience criteria? Very good question. Uh, see, it all depends on what you do in the articleship. We might consider that, but it all depends on what you do. Whether you are only keeping the bills ready. Or whether you're actually involved in the audit process, it's based on that. So it is nothing like yes or no. Once you complete, uh, you have to submit your total experience. In that, what you have done, you have to do a detailing of that, and based on that, that will be considered or not considered. So please explain about CP obligation. Once you complete your both part exam, which is very important to ensure that you keep your CMA title, you should have 30 CPE credits. So how to get these CPE credits? One is IMA membership will give you a lot of access to the webinars and these, and these webinars are attached with the CPE credits. And when you attend it, uh, or events, direct events, when you attend these direct events, that will give you CPE credits. That is good enough. And nowadays, what happens because last two years, because of COVID, every chapter is doing webinars and all chapter activities are well spread across. And you can, like, even though you might be from uh, Hyderabad right now, you can be an active member of Hyderabad chapter, but you can also attend the uh, chapter activities or webinars, which is organized by Bangalore, Cochin, Pune, Kolkata, or Delhi chapter, or even from international for that matter. But make sure that you're full attending. There will be a mechanism which we do, whether you are full time engaged or you are just searching on your video here and going and doing some other activity that won't give you. There's a, a mechanism which we follow and uh, that can give you CP credits. And there are a lot more I can explain, but I think that is only when it is required one to one. How many months it's take to get a license if we have prior experience? Uh, so it's once you submit, they go through the documents and uh, the exact specific time, I might be not the right person to come back to you, which is which is again an operational thing. Uh, my colleague is not part of the webinar as well. She could help you uh, to give that details. If you want exactly want to know, you can send a mail to IMA India at the rate imanet.org. You can just send a mail saying how, like once you submit how much time it will take to get the certification. You can send a mail regarding that. It's not license, you get the CMA certification, CMA credential and title to use, not license. I've done audit and taxation. Okay, yeah, I've done audit and taxation. Thank you. Suppose I complete my CMA within one year and I don't have two years of relevant experience. During two years of my experience, is it necessary to renew IMA membership? Definitely, you need to remove, I mean, renew your membership because your membership is only help you to get the relevant CPE credits. And CPE credits, being a student who completed both part exams, is also very important when you apply for their CMA certification. I think I'll take one more question if you have. I think we have actually taken a good time. And thank you once again, thank you very much uh, uh, for attending and asking this much questions. And really, I'm really happy with this because I like people asking questions and I really appreciate that. Please like IMA or social media pages where we update a lot of things. You can also connect me, my LinkedIn, Insta, Facebook, uh, my WhatsApp numbers. And my uh, email ID provided here in my screen itself. You can reach out to me and happy to connect with you. Uh, definitely, if you have any specific questions which you want to come back, maybe I would uh, request you to send a text message in WhatsApp or a voice note. Um, 
and I'm comfortable with English. Maybe other languages are not that best. So please send me a text message in English or you can connect me in any of the social media. And that I'm sure that will give you a lot of insights and update about what is happening in IME. I'm happy to guide, support you all. Thank you. If a person has an Indian CMA, is suggested for go for CMA course or CPA course? Very, very good question. Uh, this is very a tricky question for me. Uh, it's up to you uh, whether you need uh, an international management accounting qualification or you want to have a combination of uh, Indian uh, cost accounting and uh, international or, you know, this public accounting um, qualification. It, it's a very challenging question to me. Uh, uh, because one way, if you look at, uh, it's good to have a combination of uh, management or cost accounting and public accounting. But on the other side, if you want to have an international certification uh, to build you, and that also help you uh, with CM. I think I, I think I answered you. Now you have to read in between the lines. Any other question? I remember there was another question which was asked. Uh, okay, this is the question, which is like, uh, what is the idea, whether any additional charge or procedure? So once you complete both part exam, and if you completed your graduation and relevant experience, there is a PER filing form which you need to download fill all your details it's more like a resume you are submitting but this resume is not like bullet points you need to explain what you are doing in detail and attach other required supporting documents and send it now we are accepting uh, the online ones you can send it there is a mail i think three days back i shared a, a document uh, in the web i mean linkedin which actually talk about uh, to which email ID you need to send it. I'll, I'll try to share that page with you one second. <clears throat> so this is where I usually update, you know, all such posts I usually update. So you get this information, which is very important. One second, I'm just trying to get that information. I'm sorry, there are a lot of posts in my page, so I could not trace it immediately. Uh, but we usually give such inputs. Okay, one minute. So I'm not able to trace it from my page right now. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, in case if you need such information, uh, you can reach out to me. I can share you that link that might help you to understand. So it talk about what the changes, exam windows. Uh, it's all up talk about to whom need to be contacted for such information that is there. Apart from that, you can download, you just go to uh, Google and say CMA Handbook 2021. I repeat, CMA Handbook 2021. When you type in Google, you ideally get a PDF document. It, it's more like, you know, the dictionary or reference book for your CMA that give you all the inputs which is required. So uh, once again, uh, thank you, uh, students. I think uh, uh, I already told last question. Uh, 
but really uh, it was really uh, like you know interesting uh, to connect with you all and thank you very much for all the questions and you will get to know uh, more about um, uh, you know any any updates from IMA through our social media and uh, we will uh, going to announce an interesting news in the near future uh, which you might see in the near future i'm not communicating what it is uh, regarding cementer education and uh, in in the next uh, one and a half months uh, or i'll come back to you either or even maybe in the next 15 days we might be looking at uh, supporting and opening the registration like in case like the students who registered till now can complete their registration as i told you please register yourself when the offers are extended and uh, these offers are always for limited period special bundle offers which is extended and if you are not utilizing you might not get it in the future we are very clear you know how how it is going to be processed in the future so make sure that you are registering on time and get the benefits thank you thank you very much Thank you, Fajal, sir. Most welcome. And I would request if you have any specific feedback, uh, whether I should cover something more, uh, because it's a mixed crowd. So that's where I, I, I picked and choose for certain topics. But if you have any specific comments that uh, the presentation or the topics which you covered are not up to the mark, or you need to cover more things, uh, please come back. We always value your feedbacks. I'll maybe I'll wait for another few minutes. Like if you have any any specific feedbacks, even you can say that sir, your presentation was not at all good. I'm happy with that such kind of feedback. But if you have any other specific feedbacks, come back to us. And what else you sh you was you are expecting from me to be covered? Like if it was a detailed session, we sometimes talk about exam preparations and all that. But definitely, we'll see something. And we are planning for an exam tip session for the market. And every quarter for CMA or IMA members, CMA candidates, uh, there is an exam tip session which is podcasted or you know done it from US. You can be part of it. We might be doing something for India in the near future, but uh, the US one, all you can attend. That's the same thing we are going to repeat here. You can attend that. That will also give you a lot of inputs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, there are a lot of other questions. I think I hope I asked scholarship procedures. I hope I, uh, we, uh, you know, covered the questions. I actually was looking at only the Q&A session. But uh, sorry, uh, the chat. I think uh, there was a few questions in uh, the Q and A session. My counselor was unable to clarify this to me. Okay, I'm yet to register for the program pursuing online MBA. I'm a student member, and my counselor was unable. Okay, I think we already answered how beneficial combination of USC and APCI. Any combination is good. So I think we answered all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much once again. And all the best wishes for the students who are preparing for the exams. And I would like to come back with another session. Those who completed, I would like to congratulate you all. If it is a, a non-COVID season, I would personally like to travel to Hyderabad and congratulate you once you complete your both part exam. And if that's opportunity, I will definitely do that. Otherwise, definitely I'm happy to congratulate you wherever possible. Thank you.